Hi there, Aries. This is your reading for um, the 16th to the 22nd of September. And here we go. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook. If you're new, welcome to this channel. Please subscribe down here and click on the uh, bell to be notified for new videos or when I go live. If you don't want to be notified, then don't click the bell, but subscribe and it will be saved in your library. There is a video explaining how, uh, how do I subscribe, where can I subscribe, um, also about the likes and why are the likes important. Uh, more information on how to get in contact with me. I'm talking about the back office and uh, what, why there is the new system and the old system, the classical, beta and classical. You hear me talking about them um, in the live sessions. And remember guys, uh, I do go live and give you a, um, a card every day, a card for the day for every star sign. So if you want to listen or would like to listen to that then I would suggest hit that bell and subscribe. There is a video I will put the link into the back of this video just click on it and see what you can use from it. It's um, people have been asking me how do I subscribe and where can I subscribe I'm not getting notified so that's why I've made this video. This reading is from the 16th to the 22nd of September and here we go you've got temperance temperance means uh, you might have to get yourself back in balance okay you are standing she's standing with one foot in the water and one foot on the earth so that means on Monday the 16th, uh, 16th you might be faced with getting in balance between your head and your heart or your heart or your or your soul or work and home life okay sorry about the coloring um i can't do anything about it i'll see whether i can is that better um then you've got the hanged man and it like i said it is pretty dark so that's what the dog looks like the hanged man i'm using the dog tarot and the hand man means delays, suspension, um, taking have to take time out for meditation, evaluation, or just sit quietly and uh, think about things and get a, an other perspective than the one that is already there. Perhaps that's why something is in delay. Somebody is thinking about something and tries to uh, get a, a better perspective of the uh, perhaps the situation uh, they've had with you it will might not resonate with all of you so have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign there could be delays for four hours four days four weeks or four months longer i wouldn't go because in the traditional tarot it looks like if the legs um, signifies a number four so i always keep that in the back of my mind then at the end of the week, you've got the nine of earth. Isn't that beautiful? I love that, an Afghan. Beautiful. She's in the garden and she's got roses at her feet. And it's smelling like roses. Literally, that's what I got, came up in me. You're smelling like roses at the end of the week. The nine of pentacles means that you are going, leaving an old face behind. The suspension is over. You're going into a new face, a much, much luxurious face or a better paid face. You might have had that page, uh, uh, pay rise or promotion. Then you've got the tin of fire at the weekend. You're finalizing everything and you're seeing the homestead in front of you. Only a couple more paces and you're there, a new beginning. So Friday and the weekend are endings and new beginnings. So the nine is confirming the 10 and the 10 is confirming the nine. And after the weekend, it is over. Then the overall energy for this week um, is the King of Pentacles. 
and he is a Virgo, um, Taurus or Capricorn, you might actually be meeting uh, a new person from the, that sign and everything uh, that you touch this week will turn to gold because this king knows how to invest. He has the life experience and he has the um, knowledge as he's done all the work. He's been the page, he's been the knight, he's been the queen and now he's got the status of the king. Be it a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. You most probably will meet a man of the air sign. Um, but, um, and they could have also the meters touch, but this is your energy, Mo more likely that you, everything that you touch will turn to gold because look at the nine and look at the 10. You've, um, you've come to an end and you're going into a better phase. Like I said, you might have had that pay rise. Now, Aries, for the surrendering of the, the, the surrender deck, surrender to silence. In quiet meditation and contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Now, that's where you've got um, on in the midweek. And now it is um, suggested that you take time out. Surrender to the silence. Don't worry about the delay. What, what, you know, the good things are coming your way. So take action. Take action after Wednesday at the end of the week. Okay. Get that rest. Get that balance. Okay. Because balance is very, very important for you this week, uh, Aries, so that you can move on to a better period and a lot more excitement. Then for the finances, we have uh, finance, uh, for the romance, sorry, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. That could be so, but like I said, there's an end of a period and a new one, break, a better one breaking on. You might be meeting a lady or a man. There's two characters in this deck today. So you might be meeting a lady, a nurturing, kind lady. Perhaps you are a nurturing, kind lady. And um, I've got more of a feeling that you're going to meet a friend, a, a female friend, or you're going to call her up and you're going to get yourself, yourself back into balance with talking to her. She's helping you. That's it could be a mother figure, it could be a friend, it could be a sister, but I think um, you are going to ask for help. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And this will improve your health because perhaps you might be concerned about your health, okay? We've got the tree, and the tree means health, but also family tree. So that's why I said it could be a mother or a sister. It, it's amazing how they sort of just flow in, uh, into each other. And again, you've got the nine here, an ending, and you've got the coffin. The coffin is confirming an ending, and you're in a transformational period, and you're ready for the new beginning. And you've got the scythe. You're cutting with the path, past. You're cutting with the past, and you're harvesting. You're taking with you, not the, not the heavy load, the burdens, but you're, learned, and you're taking what you, your life experience and your knowledge towards that new beginning. You are going to walk with uh, abundance on that new path, uh, be it life experience, be it the gold, or what you've invested in. It could be materialistically, but definitely spiritually. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Aries, and I wish you all the best and luck in this week. And I hope you... Um, and get out of your head and make the decision with help from family and friends. Take care, give me the thumbs up and I see you either back in the live sessions or I will see you in the next videos. And thank you very much for my truthful, uh, faithful followers to be back again. I love you all. Take care and be blessed.